guys welcome back to another episode of dibs on half with me gabby and today we're making the best sandwich i've ever made i know i said that about the spinach artichoke uh grilled cheese but this legit is like one of my favorite sandwiches i think i should just stop saying this because every sandwich i'm craving i think is the best sandwich ever at the moment so yeah I'm craving a chicken pesto sandwich. So that's what we're making today. I already have my chicken out, washed it with cold water, patted it dry, and now we're going to put some pepper and a generous portion of salt on it. I'm gonna get some tongs here because I don't like to touch the meat. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do this again with the salt. So and I like lots of salt and some pepper. And this dish is so quick and so easy. It literally takes probably like 20, 25 minutes to make all together. So I have some saran wrap here and I'm going to put the chicken on it. And we're just gonna fold it over. And I kinda like to fold up the edges a little bit like so. And then we got a hammer. And just pound it away so it's flat enough to fit the bun you got. I'm using ciabatta buns today. I love a ciabatta bun. So now that it's all nice and flat, I'm just gonna take it out of this wrapper. And I'm gonna stick it right back on the plate I was using. And I got an extra little piece that came off here. I'm just gonna throw this in the garbage because I want a nice, uniformed looking piece. After you hammer that chicken out, I have two bowls here. One is for the egg. And then I got another bowl for the breadcrumbs. I'm using plain breadcrumbs because I like to add my own seasoning. And I'm gonna do one fourth cup of this. And since this is like an Italian style sandwich, I'm gonna use Italian style ingredients. So I'm going to grind a few grinds, actually a lot of grinds of pepper. So that was probably one fourth teaspoon salt and then I have basil here and I'm just going to put a bunch of basil garlic I'm just gonna eyeball that's probably a little over one eighth a teaspoon onion powder it's gonna give it a couple shakes and red pepper flakes i'm just gonna do a heaping pinch and thyme i'm gonna do a medium pinch and oregano i think i'm gonna do a heaping pinch of this too now i'm sorry you guys if you're like i don't know how to just eyeball things i'm sorry you know what you could do though is you could take a fork and just, you know, try to eyeball it, shake all the ingredients around, and then you just lick your finger and stick it in there and taste it. I think this needs more salt. And I like to taste my breadcrumb seasoning before I do it with the chicken because you don't want to not have it well seasoned enough and then your chicken's bland have parmesan here it's already shredded and I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon in the bowl and just mix everything around nice and good here I keep saying nice and good and that's not the word it's nice and well what is wrong with me I'm just gonna shake it all right so the breadcrumb portion is done now let's move on to the egg for the egg we're just going to mix it up I'm 
Now I'm ready to bread the chicken. So I have a nice sheet pan here, and then I have a little metal rack thing that I just stick right on top of it because we're breading the chicken and we don't want to stick it directly on the pan because it'll get soggy, the bread underneath when it's cooking, and I want it to be nice and dry and crisp all the way around. So I'm gonna take my Pam and I'm gonna spray it on the metal rack just to make sure that it doesn't stick. And then I'm gonna take my chicken here and I'm gonna submerge it in the egg. And then we're gonna stick it in the breadcrumbs. And we're gonna get it nice and breaded all the way around and kind of pat the breadcrumbs into here. And I put way too much breadcrumbs for one sandwich. So the one fourth cup of breadcrumbs is good for more than one sandwich if you're making this for like your family or a friend or a lover or an enemy. Don't make this sandwich for an enemy because it's too good. But for whoever you want, and I'm just patting it in here real well so I know it's all nice and breaded all the way around here. And then I'm just going to gently lay it on the rack here. All right, once you have it on the rack, we're gonna take our pan and we're gonna spray the top of the chicken down so it has some oil to get nice and crispy. And now I'm just gonna pop this in the oven and set a timer for 10 minutes. Oh yeah, the oven is at 425 today and I'm just gonna stick it right in the middle rack here. 425 for 10 minutes. All right, so let's move on to our sliced tomato portion. All right, so I have a cutting board here and I have a nice, beautiful, ripe red tomato and I'm just gonna do some thick slices on this. I have a second sheet pan and I like to put Reynolds wrap on top of it. Some extra virgin olive oil and just drizzle it on here. Take my beautifully sliced tomatoes and just rub them around on both sides in the oil. tomatoes you're also going to want to season them because you want to season everything I'm just gonna put a couple pinches of salt on these and I'm gonna do some grinds of pepper over the top and I also like to put some oregano over it and once the timer goes off for 10 minutes we're gonna pop these in the oven, flip the chicken over, and cook for 10 more minutes. I have my ciabatta bun, and mine is not sliced already, so I'm just gonna slice it right in half. Like so. I'm gonna put this off to the side, and then I have my garlic here. And I'm just gonna cut the garlic clove right in half. And it's nice and juicy where you sliced it. And I'm just gonna rub all the garlic juices on this bread, just so you get like a hint of garlic bread flavor on here. Oh, it smells so good. I love bread. I don't think I can live without carbs. Like, I really don't. Carbs are the best thing since sliced bread. So I'm rubbing it, rubbing it. Get it all nice and on there. And the crusty edges actually help release more juices out of the garlic. Oh, it smells so good. So now I'm gonna take the other side, the fresh side, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other piece of the bread here. And I'm making a mess, all the crumbs are coming off, but that's all right. The mess is worth it because this is gonna be delightful. Oh my God, I'm so hungry, I cannot wait. So there is a minute left on the 10 minute mark 
And I'm just gonna take some of that olive oil and drizzle it over the bread as well. This is coming together so nicely. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you don't wanna miss any of my upcoming videos. You don't know what I'm gonna be making next. But it's gonna be delicious. And this sandwich is freaking delicious. So yeah, there is no reason not to subscribe. I'm trying to get monetized. I'm pregnant. And I would love it if I could actually make money on YouTube. But I do it because I like it. So, but it would actually be nice to be monetized. <laughs> the oven's going off. So now we're gonna flip the chicken. 10 minutes. Set the timer again for 10 minutes. And then I'm just gonna pull the chicken right out of the oven. And I am going to flip it over. Take the Pam. And I'm just gonna spray it over this side too so it gets nice and crispy. I'm also gonna throw in the tomatoes here on the top rack. And then I'm just gonna put the bread directly on the rack so they can harden up a little bit. The reason that we're making the bread a little bit hard is you want it to hold up when you're eating it. Have you ever had bread that like falls apart because your sandwich is so moist and it can't hold up? We don't want that. So we wanna crisp the bread up a little bit because we got the tomatoes are gonna be extra juicy, the chicken's gonna be juicy, and the pesto is gonna be juicy. I know you're probably thinking like, Gabby, where'd you get the pesto? What's up with the pesto? How do you make the pesto? So I made a video ooh, a couple months ago where I made pesto. So I will put a little link for you to go check out that video. And in the description of that video, there is the recipe to make this pesto. It's amazing pesto, I'm telling you, it's so freaking good. So I got the pesto, and I also like to add a little mayo to my sandwich. Okay, so I just pulled the bread out the oven. I have about three minutes left on the chicken and the tomatoes, and it crisp up really nice, it's really hot. But I want it a little bit more done on the inside because like I said, it's a very juicy sandwich. So I'm just heating up a pan so I can toast the bread on the pan a little bit more toasty. Like I want it brown on the inside. I have my pan all nice and hot. I'm just gonna stick the bread right on it. And then I'm actually going to stick a weight on it just to weigh it down so it gets nice and evenly toasted. And if you don't have a weight, you could always use another pan. Everything is done, the timer just went off. So I'm going to take the chicken out of the oven. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, that's hot. I need to invest in some oven mitts. I'm gonna put this up here. And then the tomatoes are nice and juicy and cooked. And I'm gonna take these out and just stick them back here. And we're gonna let the chicken rest for a little bit so the juices stay inside when we eat it because if you eat it right away before it rests, the juices like burst out of it and we don't want that to happen. I have the bread here all nice and toasted and like I said, I like to put mayo. So I'm just gonna do a squirt of mayo on the bottom here. Grab the chicken and stick it right on top here. And then I just threw all of the tomatoes right on top of here. Take some pesto, and I like a lot of pesto, so I'm just gonna drizzle all of this pesto right on top of this delightful sandwich. And last but not least, I have a couple of fresh basil leaves to put right on top. And look at how magnificent this sandwich is. Can we talk about this sandwich? Look at this sandwich. Look at it. I cut it in half. Look at all of that nice pesto flowing out the side. This is one of my favorite sandwiches and every time I eat pesto, I'm always like, holy crap, pesto is so good. Like, why don't I eat it more? Like, look at how steamy it is though. I probably could have let it rest a little bit longer, but let's have a bite and see what it tastes like. Mmm. And it's just like perfectly cooked. 
20 minute chicken breast. You guys, please make this sandwich, please. It's so freaking good. It's amazing. Mmm. It's so good. It's so good. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you didn't already. I don't know why you wouldn't. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Mmm.